<laughs> We're here at the ACC for Post Media. I'm Mike Gantert. Toronto Raptors got back on the right side of the wind, you know, of the wind column. It wasn't easy. I mean, the Brooklyn Nets have got 18. They came into this this game with 18 wins to their name and gave the Raptors everything they could handle. I mean, it was a 16-point deficit at one point. It looked like Coach, Coach Casey was going to have to go off on his team again, but that, did, that didn't have to happen, mostly because they finally got some defense into the game. I mean, they've been playing... I mean, you, you, you go back to the uh, before the All-Star game, they were the ninth best team defensively in the NBA. Since then, they've been the 27th best team. Just not getting any stops, not playing physical, not playing Raptors basketball. Casey apparently at halftime went in there, laid into them pretty good. Uh, the players didn't want to repeat what he said because most of it's probably unprintable, um, but he got the job done. They came out in the third quarter, played much harder, back to you know getting into bodies, getting into people, and that was the difference. I mean, they take a 16-point deficit, they got up by as many as 12 at one point, and they end up winning by five. It was. Uh, it, it wasn't a great game, but it was it was what they needed. They've got three big ones coming up. Um, you got Atlanta coming in, you got Miami coming in, and Chicago coming in. So those are three big games. They play like they did tonight. It might be a little different story, but at least they got things right a little bit on the defensive end. If they can take that second half and take it into those next three games, they'll have a much better shot. For the National Post, I'm Mike Andrew.